Hello lovelies, it's Lizzie from Love From Lizzie. Um, I'm here today just very quickly to do the mid-August release for you. Um, these items are now available in the shop, so if you're interested, head over. But we have the Wild Deluxe Travel Pack, So Woodland Mega Pack, and we have the, this is the July kit, as it were, parts of the July kit in a mini pack. So um, I will take these away. I'm going to try my utmost to be nice and speedy today. So, okay, so the Deluxe Travel Pack, I introduced this, these uh, concept products last month uh, for the 4th of July release, and they went down a storm, like I sold out straight away. I was able to get a couple more of the So Lovely, um, and I've put them in the shop, but how long they'll last, nobody who knows. Um, but essentially what these are is either a very, very comprehensive introduction to crafting or perfect for someone that has been crafting for a little while that wants to um, go away, go away for the weekend or just have a self-contained ready to go kit. So you get some staple products. So you get, this is four mil. Let's have a look what that is in inches. Okay, so it's... quarter? No, an eighth, sorry, an eighth of an inch wide. Get a whole roll of that. Two sheets of um, foam squares in different sizes, so there is a smaller size and a larger size. An acrylic block which has got grid lines on it, so doubles up as a ruler, it has inches and centimetres on both sides. So, get one of those. Scissors, precision tip, ambidextrous, which as a lefty I always appreciate. <laughs> uh, we have three dew drops. We have olive grove, cantaloupe, and grey flannel. Um, and then we have some gems. There's a, there is 104 of these gems in Lots of different sizes and all in black, but they have got like a gloss finish to them, so that they're not matte. Uh, this is the stamp set, which is really, really cute. So there is um, the aeroplane. We have two clouds. This one's got sort of a polka dot pattern to it. We have the sun, and then this is like a heart, but puffy, so like a cloud perhaps. And then here you have um, like a banner. Now this um, can be stamped attached onto the back of the aeroplane so that you can um, trail the sentiments. So we have Miss You, XOXO, Hello There, Happy Birthday, Huge Congrats, and then in a really pretty scripty font we have Love You and Sending Hugs. And then all of the icons have coordinating dies. So the aeroplane, and the banner, the sun, both of the clouds, and the heart. So a really cute little set there, which um, when I put this one together, I thought this uh, deluxe travel pack would actually suit really well to making um, boys cards like teenagers as well, who I find the most impossible to craft for. So as, um, as before, you get 10 pre-scored card blanks and matching envelopes. So 10 of each of those. Ooh. We have silver and gold mirror, which I'm very quick to put away. What with my reflection at the risk of being shown. Peel-offs, love from Lizzie peel-offs in black. These come in three different widths. A whole sheet of 300 GSM, which is comparable to 110 pounds, white cardstock for doing all of your stamping on. And then you have, this is a whole pad, I've split this up so that I could photograph it for, um, for the shop. But there is 30 sheets, there are 15 designs, two of each, so I'll run through them quickly. So we have bears, arrows, Mushrooms, 
a tartan. These are sort of like triangles, but they look like trees on sort of a mountainside. That might just be my perspective. Here's sort of like a stag in a in a, in like a diamond shape, so it could look like a quilt. This is a wood grain. Not sure if that's showing. This is like a giraffe print or like cracked mud. Some owls. Some squirrels, which are really sweet. Argyle, which again, on all of these colours, obviously they all coordinate beautifully. Dog tooth, hound's tooth. <laughs> Not sure how that goes. And we have some trees, and this paper particularly would double up nicely for Christmas. Then these are like tiny weeny little triangles, but they um, they look like candy corn shaped. They're not quite triangular. They're quite rounded. And then we have like a really nice stripe. So this is the deluxe travel pack called Wild. It's in the shop. It's available to purchase now. It is a whilst stocks last I'm afraid because I know for a fact that this pattern paper I can no longer get hold of so once it's gone from the shop I am afraid it is gone so that's the deluxe travel pack we'll move that out of the way and then we will quickly run through the mini pack now this um, is product that was part of the July card kit which sold out astronomically quickly which obviously is great but um, I've had an awful lot of emails from people asking whether or not that I'm able to put any more kits together and I, I wish I was I wish I was in the position to be able to um, but I kind of hoped that this would offer as a compromise so um, all of the vellum that was in the kit is present and correct so there are nine tiles, including the border. Then there are the patterned papers. So um, we have some hearts, like mandalas, uh, polka dots, and they're all in these lovely yellow, white, pink, and black. There are 12 designs, and they're single-sided, and they're also six by six. And then um, there are these. These are the 21 paper blooms. They are in lots of different shapes and sizes. But, um, yeah, ever so pretty. But what I love about these, in the whites particularly, is you can ink blend onto them, you can colour them with alcohol markers, you can spritz them. They're, the possibilities are endless. Even coloured pencils, because it's a porous um, paper, they, they absorb colour very well. And there are 21 different flowers in there. Let's just lay it over down here. Spread them out a bit so you can see. And then here there are 21 leaves and they are in varying sizes in two different shades but the shades aren't flat. They have got some really nice um, dimension if you like. And they also as these are they're dry embossed. So to give you an idea These look so good, they're almost real. Uh, and there's 21 of those as well. So that is the mini pack. And that also is available in the shop. Okay. Oh, it sounds like, I'm not sure if you guys could hear that, but we've got a motorcyclist obviously in a hurry because he went by very, very, I say he, that was very judgmental of me, it could have been she. Right, the mega pack, before I carry on waffling. This month's mega pack, as always, comes zip blocked, as does um, the deluxe travel pack, so that it makes it easy to travel around with. Right, so the dies. We have a butterfly, which has um, inlay design. Also the birds, and this is the same, the bird's um, wing and sort of like cheek area 
also cuts out so you could manipulate and change the colours over. We have a fox, a squirrel, this lovely large bloom, a shell or a snail depending on which way you wanted to look at it and two leaves. Now to give you an idea the bird is three inches by just shy of two inches tall and the bloom is two inches so a nice big um, dies to be able to create some really focal points on your card and now I'm going to talk about the specialty so there is um, a sheet of gold miri a sheet of mocha pearlescent a sheet of gold pearlescent and a sheet of oyster pearlescent now I've put this in because for example the fox you may wish to have in red so you can die cut from the pearlescent cardstock and you can use your alcohol markers, ink blender, any medium which, with which you like. And then you can colour um, your birds, your flowers, butterflies, however you wish and you'll have this pearlescent sheen. So that's the reason that I went with that rather than a glitter. The stamp set is very mixed media based. So you have like a ballerina holding a wreath you have here another frame which would be perfect for a sentiment to sit within you've got some um, sheet music with some script which is illegible you've got a bloom you've got some nice corner pieces and there is um, a damask sort of emblem another uh, mixed media sort of stamp for background creating um, it's a really really pretty um, stamp set there I'll just pop that to the side and now the patterned papers. I will just move these guys up and across. So, as ever, two of each, one to keep, one to use, as we joke. So, the foiling, obviously the camera actually does quite a good job of showing the foil on this. It's beautiful. This is like a fishnet over like an ivory colour, ever so shiny. And this is a gold pearlescent hue. So you've got the pattern and then um, it appears to be gold over the top in a sheen. This is spot gloss. So over those icons there is some gloss. Also with these two. And these are sort of like bubbles and spots. In like a pale blue. And the spot gloss is sort of an ivory colour. This is canvas finish, so it's like a damask and it also has this print on top which is what you would expect to find in sort of like a botany book. We have, once again, two of those, two of these, then these pictures look like they're from an encyclopedia in my estimation. This is also canvas finish. Okay, double sided papers, so we have sheet music. Now what I've done is, because there is two sheets of each, I have flipped one over so you get to see both sides of the pattern. So there is sheet music and birds, and they're also on like a, um, a printed background. A pattern with um, some tiny blooms on the reverse. Polka dots with sort of like a mixed media emblem. A diagonal stripe, again looking somewhat distressed. And here we have faded butterflies with um, script printed over the top. Another diagonal stripe, but this has script detailing in the background. This is the same pattern as here, but this is white and sort of like a dusky rose, whereas that's ivory and pale blue. We have the fishnet, the same as the foiling from back here and this is in white and blue this is like a really gorgeous blue and it has sort of this um, distressed stamped mixed media which is why I thought this stamp set worked very well with the papers this is pretty much lifted surely from a botany book there's just you know the drawings the descriptions numbers next to it to make your references and this looks like it's come from an encyclopedia or a dictionary with you know description of but um, really, really pretty. We have a dusky rose chevron that's quite distressed at the edges. 
um, a damask again with some botany um, stamping in the background a mustard version of that same chevron and then we have um, the same as the first sheet but printed in mustard on like a stony grey so they are all the pattern papers from the mega pack there is an awful lot coming for love from lizzie over the coming weeks um, please do stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already i will um, keep you posted as soon as possible i can't recommend the facebook group enough i know i say it all the time um, but there is a really lovely group of ladies and gentlemen in there we're all, they're all a little bit mad we're all a bit mad um, but it's ever so kind and i mean the kindness that's been extended over the last few weeks there's been complete strangers buying kits and craft product for one another because people have fallen on hard times it's it's truly heartwarming to know that there are so many kind people out there and i'm really uh, grateful to be a part of it so um thank you to everyone for watching and supporting as you do um as always uh happy paper crafting and until next time take care bye